overnight success. What's up guys? It's your boy J to the K R D I J Cardi and I'm a music artist and in this video I'm going to be taking you through 10 steps on how to start a successful music career as an upcoming artist. So let's jump right into it. Step one, decision. So it's one thing for you to be singing in your bathroom and it's a different ball game entirely when you step into the scene i know being a music artist can really come with a whole lot of uncertainty but then that is where your decision comes in you have to decide do you want to do this or you don't want to do this it's a matter of your decision so you cannot start your journey if you don't decide to continue to do music as a hobby or you want to take music serious as a full-time career as a full-time job as something that you really want to make a living out of so making the decision is the first crucial step on how to start a successful music career as an upcoming artist step two patience and mental preparation being a music artist comes with a whole lot of crazy, I'll tell you. It comes with a whole lot of stress. It comes with a whole lot of uncertainty. It comes with a whole lot of fear. It comes with a whole lot of criticisms. So you have to be prepared. Doing music full time is not something that you just jump in today and you're expecting the result tomorrow is not something you're just going to go into today and you're expecting overnight success and mind you is going to come with a whole lot of criticisms criticisms about your songs if they are good enough or they are not good enough is going to come with a whole lot of doubts and lack of motivation lack of support from your friends your family the people that are close to you the people that you expect that they are really going to support you a whole lot you might actually not get that a whole lot of us have been there i have faced it a whole lot of other upcoming artists have faced it and if we should probably start sharing all our stories you would get to know that you have to mentally prepare for the journey ahead for the task for the work for the stress and you could probably have nothing starting from scratch going into your music career so you have to be prepared for the task ahead because it's going to test you it's going to test you it's going to test your resilience it's going to test your patience it's going to test you if you really made the decision to do this or if you're going to quit once you've made the decision to go into music as an upcoming artist and you have decided that you're going to be patient with yourself and follow through this process and you have mentally prepared for the criticisms for the workload that is right in front of you then i think it's now time for us to move into the next step step three of how to become a successful music artist and that is planning and strategy you cannot go into music without a plan you cannot go into music without a strategy. You cannot decide to be a music artist without knowing setting short and long-term goals on how you want to go about this, where you want to be in the next five years, where you want to be in the next two years, what you want to achieve in the next three years, four years, five years. You need to understand that crucial steps are going to be taken if you are ever going to see results with what you're doing plans and strategies have to be mapped out we're talking about plans and strategies for promotion we're talking about plans and strategies for branding we're talking about plans and strategies for monetization of all your content online, your channels, your YouTube, your Spotify, plans and strategies on how you're going to release your music, plans and strategies on, on how you're going to grow and evolve with time. Now that gives you a clear focus, that gives you a clear vision of how you're going to go about this, what you want to achieve, 
and how you are going to achieve it. You need to put down on paper and probably stick it somewhere so that you can always come back to it and ask yourself, Am I achieving the goals and the targets that are set before me? Am I achieving the things that I have set out to achieve? When you look at your plans and your strategy and you look at it from time to time, at every point in time, you can evaluate the results you're getting and you can ask yourself, I told myself I was going to be here at this point in time. I was probably going to be releasing an EP at this point in time. You're right there and yet there is no EP. Okay, probably I want to get 1,000 fans on my social media at so 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 and so time and you are there you don't have it now you have to sit back at that point and you have to ask yourself questions what are you doing right and what are you doing wrong and how can you effect the necessary corrections and changes that will actually bring results if not you end up being a stagnant starving artist not making any headway and that leads us into step four after mapping out your plan and your strategies you now have to decide what genre am i going to be into am i doing rap music am i doing afrobeat music am i doing reggae whatsoever it is but then you have to choose the genre of music that you are best at you cannot be a singer and you're trying to do rap music. That's more like fixing square pegs in round holes. You don't fit in there. You don't, you don't pick a genre just because uh, you feel your friends are rappers, so you probably have to be a rapper. Where does your strength lie? Are you a rap artist? Can you do rap music? Or can you sing? Whatever genre you pick, make sure it is something that you are comfortable doing and not something that you're probably going to be struggling with. Not something that probably when you put out that song, when you put out that content, uh, it's going to be more like, nah man, this is whack. This is whack because if you're not good at what you're doing, trust me, they're going to call you out. They'll call you out real quick. Picking your genre of music has to be where your strengths lie. But then you will need to understand that if you're going to be a rapper, then you have to do rap music that really appeal to the people and people can really relate to. Because at the end of the day, all you're aiming for, what you're aiming for is to make sales. You're not just doing music for the fun of doing music. You're not just being an artist for the fun of being an artist. You're not just doing music for yourself. You're doing music for the people. You're doing music that the people can listen to, that they can relate with, that they can stream online, that they can buy, they can sing along. Things that you know that when you put out there, it's going to click with them and that is how you grow as an upcoming artist because when people can really relate with your sound when people can really relate to what you're saying and um, relate to the kind of music you're putting out you, you you realize that you're really building your fan base at a very fast rate and that leads us to step number five step number five is picking a role model and a mentor picking a mentor has a whole lot of advantages it helps you it helps you as an artist grow in the area of songwriting if you're a rap artist then you have to go look for a whole lot of rap artists rap musicians your favorite um, artists the people that everybody is listening to and you have to learn what are they doing that is making them win what are they doing that is making the people accept them? What are they doing that is appealing to the people? What kind of songs are they writing that the people can relate with? And that will actually help you hone your skills 
as a songwriter. Beyond just learning songwriting, there's a whole lot of other advantages that picking a role model and a mentor actually has because you're following the footsteps of the people that have gone ahead of you. You have seen them win and you want to be like them. You want to also win like they have won. So you follow the things they did. How did they do this? How did they achieve this? How did they go about this? Because you're new in the game. You basically know nothing about the game. So how do you learn about the game if you don't follow the footsteps of the people that have gone ahead of you? That takes us to step six, recording your songs. So recording your songs now you know how to write songs now you have learned from the experts you've learned from the people that have gone ahead of you you have to record something you have to put out content actually you have to you have to give the people something to listen to if not then why you're an artist you have to start putting out content so the people can see what you have they can listen to what you have they can relate to what you have once you start recording your songs and you start putting your songs out there, trust me, not everybody is going to like what you're putting out there. Not everybody is going to relate to what you're putting out there. You cannot satisfy everybody. So when you put out a song, trust me, the criticisms are going to come. The whole backlash is going to come. A whole lot of people will be like, go look for something else to do. Man, you whack man you're not ready for this uh, you're not built for this game and all of that so i'll tell you don't take anything personal don't take anything to heart it's really going to hurt a whole lot but don't take anything personal it's part of the game it's part of the growth process the criticisms and all of that is part of the growth process mind you when the criticisms come I think it's something you really need to take on a positive note because those criticisms are there to help you become a better artist. So pay attention to the things that they say about your songs. Pay attention to the things that the comments that okay, uh, the people, uh, your audience is going to be making about your songs and that is what is going to help you uh, better your skills uh, as a songwriter. That is what is going to help you grow. That is what is going to help you uh, evolve and become better at what you do. Seven, and that is where we're going to be talking about building an audience. Building an audience for your music as an upcoming artist is very very important because who else is going to listen to your songs who else is going to listen to your music the people you start with in terms of when you're trying to build your music audience will be first your family your friends uh, the people around you the close people around you share to them online offline and let them listen to it and let them give you their honest review their you know about what they think about what you just did that is the first point of call you need to get to before you really start putting your song out there to the bigger audience well sometimes you know they might be a little biased but uh, they might say things to maybe not make you feel bad in a way make you feel like uh, your songs ain't that bad but beyond that you yourself as an artist you need to grow to the point where uh when you put out something that you think is not good enough you should be able to look at that and have an honest review about this and ask yourself is this good enough if I was an audience and somebody put this out and I listen to it, will I like this? Will it be good enough for me? Will I really appreciate this artist? Will I really say this artist is good? So building an audience, you start first with your family, your friends, the people around you before you start moving to 
the larger aspects which has to do with your social media your instagram your facebook your twitter your tiktok accounts and a whole lot of them because i tell you all the people you're looking at all the people you're looking for to listen to your songs to watch your videos to watch your contents and you know give you a review on anything you put out there they are all online that leads me to point eight on how to build a successful music career as an upcoming artist and that is creating a digital presence you cannot be a successful music artist without having a digital presence that is what i was talking about when i was talking about building an audience you need to have an online presence if you don't have an online presence then what are you doing how do you expect to really reach out to the people out there how do you expect your music your content to really get to the people out there if you don't have an online presence your facebook your twitter your instagram your tiktok they are channel these are channels on how people can really discover you as an artist and beyond building an online presence beyond building an audience this could also be avenues where you know collaborators People, like-minded people, producers, a whole lot of people can also reach out to you, uh, probably book you for shows, gigs, and a whole lot of that. So you need to really start thinking like a big artist if you really want to be successful. You need to really have the mentality of, you know, a successful artist. That is why you need to learn from the people that have gone ahead of you your mentors your role models you follow them you see how their pages are well organized this and this you see the type of contents they put out so that is uh how you you know you need to have a digital presence i, I don't think i can really overemphasize this so you have a smartphone you have all the apps on your phone go download them create an account on your facebook on your TikTok. When I mean create an account, I don't mean just create a personal account. Now, this is where we talk about branding. You have to create a brand account. You have to create an artist account, an account that represents you online. You can create uh, your Instagram using your personal name, except unless that is probably your artist name too, then good, nice, okay. You can go with that. But then if you have a brand name as an artist, then you're not doing yourself any good. Opening your social media pages or accounts with your first name and your last name. So you need to learn how to brand yourself as an artist. And I'm going to be talking about branding yourself as an artist in, you know, subsequent videos that are going to be coming in. So stay with me on this channel like subscribe if this video has really helped you so far uh hit the like button drop a comment subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i drop new videos so that you can really get these tips that come in handy and help you grow over time number nine understanding branding and i think i already touched that when i was talking about creating an online presence creating a digital presence so you need to really start branding yourself as an artist i think everybody almost everybody have got social media accounts so your artist page or your you know your instagram page is not where you go post a picture of um, your dog where you go post a picture of your cats, where you go post a picture of um, probably, you know, things that are not really music related to you. It's That is your outlet to the world. So you need to learn how to package yourself as an artist, as an artist, so that when people come to your page, the first thing they see, they see what you represent. 
they see you as an artist and then they're like, oh, they can now differentiate your page or your Instagram account, your TikTok account, your Facebook account, your Facebook page, your Twitter account. They can differentiate all of that from every other person. You need to stand out, actually. You need to stand out. There should be something that tells these people or that tells anybody that comes to your page that, oh, look, I'm an artist. This is what I represent and not probably coming to your page and then they're seeing a picture of your dog or your cat and all of that. No, that's, that's totally irrelevant. Step number 10, you need to know the music business. As an upcoming artist or as an artist trying to take his or her music career serious and trying to achieve something from this, I think you, 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 you just need to learn the music business. You just need to learn how to do the music business because actually music is business. It's more like opening up a shop, an office, a store somewhere. You're selling a product. So how do you expect to make sales and how do you expect to make profits if you don't learn the music business? If you don't know how your songs are being distributed, if you don't know how your revenues, your royalties, where they come from and how they come in, if you don't know how to brand yourself, package yourself, promote your songs, if you don't know these basic things, how do you expect to be a successful music artist? So I think... The last and most important step on how to be a successful music artist is you have to learn the music business. Oftentimes I see a whole lot of upcoming artists leave the business aspect of their career in the hands of somebody and um, you hear, no, I'm just going to pay him to do this. I'm just going to pay him to do this. I'm just going to do this. And, uh, now, this is one big mistake a whole lot of artists make, a whole lot of upcoming artists make. It doesn't matter if you have the money. It doesn't matter if you don't have the money. You just have to learn how things work. And that is how you will be able to, you know, know how your profits come in and know what you're spending and what you're making at the end of the day. So if this video has really been helpful to you, like, comment, subscribe, and I wish you good luck on your journey to being a successful music artist. See you at the top and I'll see you at the next video.